Let's talk about pivot orientation. Pivot is this thing that uh, shows where the center of transformation of an object is going to be. Uh, it can be placed anywhere in the scene and from that, uh, that point will indicate out of um, where the object is going to be scaled from around which point it's going to be oriented and uh, from which point it's going to translate in various directions. So one of the most important uh, things in modeling in Maya is knowing how to place your uh, pivot wherever you want it to be so you can uh, manipulate your object the way you want to. So how do we do that? Well, by default when you create an object, it's usually centered in the middle and you change the pivot mod modes by uh, pressing WER by default for translation, rotation and scale respectively. Now the first thing uh, that's going to be helpful is you can press plus and minus on your keyboard to increase or decrease the size of your pivot which allows for more subtle and more precise uh, scaling or translation or whatever so that's uh, one useful thing the other useful thing is knowing how to change its orientation or position uh, you can enter the pivot change the pivot transformation change mode by pressing D so when you press D what happens is that you get this weird gizmo thing um, it's called the orientation handle now while you have D pressed you can press the middle click at the same time and hold it and you will see various different options here I'm not sure what are the the default values but these are mine the way I left them the last time I used this tool so what do these things here say first of all we have snap pivot orientation as a bool value snap pivot orientation dictates the following if it's selected that it's true while you hold D what uh, you can you are in a component selection mode so you can select a vertex you can select an edge or you can select a face so when i select a face for example this one you saw that our pivot changed its orientation to to the one of the face if i changed it to our vertex it would uh, it would adapt to the vertex normals um, orientation same way with the edge same thing with the edge now uh, on, it only changes orientation because and all of this is don't forget happening while we are holding the the reason only orientation is happening is because snap pivot orientation is selected as true but if we uh, select snap pivot position as well you would get the same result but the pivot would also change its position instead of just orientation you can also turn off the snap pivot orientation and you would only get the the placement of the pivot and nothing else you can always reset the pivots position by either pressing um, center pivot or by holding D right click and reset pivot actually reset pivot um, resets both the orientation and position while center pivot only changes the position the position so that's one of the ways um, to do it uh, one way I find particular particularly particular you know what I mean uh, useful is holding D and then at the same time you can hold V and you can see that the the square in the middle of the pivot changed to a circle 
that means that we are in vertex snap position. So when we hold B and V at the same time, you can drag with left click um, the pivot and it will snap to any vertex that you wish. You just have to hover your mouse over a vertex while holding B, B and left middle click. So this is very useful because it allows you to fast to, um, to do this very rapidly. Another way is to not uh, simply select the, the center of the pivot, but take this transformation axis, for example this one, and when you move it down while holding D and V, uh, it will snap to the first vertex that you need. So, and also the first um, vertex that you need along that axis. So let's say, for example, we had a, we had a loop here and our pivot is snapped to the top and we can hold D. We don't want to snap it to any vertex, but want to snap it to the middle of all four vertices. You could go for reset pivot, then hold D, V, and hold the axis and pull it to the, to the closest vertex that you need. And that's where you get your um, pivot where you want it. Uh, the way I use this mode the most is to center my pivot to the bottom of the of the mesh so I can then snap it to the um, grid uh, more easily for example when you export things into Unreal Engine that's the way the object needs to um, be placed because before export because uh, the Unreal Engine detects where the object was placed before export and not where the pivot is so what you do so what you can do is uh, hold the V and snap your pivot to the bottom and then um, there is another thing you can do and it's hold D and X and when you hold X instead of V uh, the pivot now snaps to um, to the grid Actually, that, that's not what I wanted to show you. I only wanted to, to say that when you hold X, uh, it snaps to the grid anyway. And when you hold V, uh, it would snap to another object, for example. And I hold V. If I drag it, it will snap to the positions of any vertex I'm hovering on another, uh, on another mesh. So uh, once we have our once we have our pivot centered on the bottom, we can hold X without holding B. B is only for moving your pivot's position inside or outside the mesh. So you hold X and move the translate to the to the ground, and now you have your mesh centered where you want it. Or you could go somewhere like uh, somewhere like here and select uh, absolute transform and type zero on the Y axis, and it will be wherever you want it to be and don't uh, this um, this thing here only helps us in regards to which pivot type is selected if it's for example a scale uh, type if I typed my values here it would scale instead of um, instead of uh, translating it so so how is this useful? Everything we talked about here. Well, let's say um, I already showed you a few examples, but once you get a hang of it, it's a very, mm, very useful tool. You use it very often. So let's say I have a mesh like this one, and I have some orientation. You never want to have situation similar to this but whatever but this is an example let's say now I want to move uh, my my extrusion forward I can do it but by just uh, by just pressing extrude but what's uh, not optimal here is that I now cannot you now go somewhere else and do some and return and I just don't have the 
uh, if I froze my transformation to history or whatever, I wouldn't have that uh, option. So now I want to continue extruding it. What I would do is press D and check if my orientation is selected and position deselected. I would hold D and press left click on this face. And now I have my pivot oriented in the way I want it. Or I want to do it along this axis or whatever. So now that we have that covered, um, what else should I? Yeah, uh, we didn't cover everything we need from this uh, right click uh, thing. So this show orientation will. Um, simply show your this or hide this uh, gizmo. Uh, I don't find it uh, annoying, so I leave it there. No problem. Reset pivot orientation puts it to your default pivot orientation. So let's say it's like this. When I press reset pivot orientation, it resets it to its default value. Same goes for reset pivot position. It centers it in the middle of the bounding box of our of our mesh, and by pressing reset pivot, actually not pressing but dragging our marquee to reset pivot, it does both of these functions. And that should be it for this video. I hope you will uh, you made it to the end and followed everything because it's a very useful tool and it will upgrade you as a 3D artist in Maya um, rapidly and by a large margin. Thank you.